what's up people um it's your girl morgan Duh, hello um i'm oh you can see me hi okay i'm back in my old room but y'all oh what is on my lip my lips are so crusty right now this makes no sense anyways hey okay yes me so i'm back in my old room now which y'all probably couldn't really tell because I haven't really filmed a whole lot in my new place. You know, we just gonna let that be. Um, I haven't filmed a whole lot in my new place, even though I've been there for like almost half a year now. Um, but my dryer broke, my dryer broke on Christmas Eve and I had to take all of my clothes, like all my clothes that was dirty, um, to my mom's house to do like four big loads of laundry. So such a pain. But I had to get it done because I'm leaving for New York on Monday, which is in like three days from now or something like that. So, yes, but I figured I would do like a little vlog or whatever when I'm, you know, getting ready to prepare. I make these almost every time I go out of town and I like never post them. So we'll see if I post this one or not. But yeah, so I have like, let's see Sorry, everything's like really messy, like I said. I don't live here and okay, I'm so dysfunctional. Anyways, I have this big old basket of laundry that has like four loads of it just smashed up in there because I didn't have nowhere else to put it. Um, so I, oh, I'm out of breath. I have not vlogged in a long time, clearly. I need to pack this luggage and then I'm also gonna bring that luggage. Um, when I'm on my trip and I pretty much need to put everything like all of this all these clothes in both of those luggages so that way I can just take those with me back to my apartment so yes I'm just gonna throw everything in the luggage as neatly as possible because I already folded everything and I am not trying to do it again when I get back home and then I just got back from Ulta oh wait I got I got my nails done today too you know what I'm saying Tracy stay cutting it up y'all she stay cutting it up you know what I'm saying I pretty much ran out of like everything at one time so I had to stock up on quite a bit of stuff so I can do like a little haul for y'all if y'all want to see like my favorites and then I grabbed like a couple random things because you know them checkout aisles they be getting you they really be getting you like I'm always trying new things in them little aisles because I'm like oh that sounds kind of good so yeah I cop some of that stuff too your girls breaking out I know y'all see that I needed to do my hair. Um, I need to retone my hair because it does not match my extensions anymore. So I need to do all that. And then I'm probably going to straighten it tonight and just a whole bunch of stuff. I need to create a little lookbook for New York. So look, it is currently like 12 something and we need to do all this before the sun goes down because then that's, you know, that's when the light can get bad. So I got about five hours. That ain't gonna happen, but we can hope for the best, okay? Honestly, I feel like if I didn't have all this extra crap I had to carry in in the first round that I probably could have whew, carried everything in all at once. But I also have some fragile stuff with me, so I wasn't trying to risk it. But boy, them stairs. So I figured since I took everything, well not everything, but ooh, don't see my, okay. Since I took up that much in the first round and I still have to come back for more, that I would just take out 
all this trash I've accumulated over like the last month and a half. Cause when I tell y'all, Kansas weather is so bipolar. Sorry, I'm back lit. But Kansas weather is so bipolar that, you know, when it's cold and whatever, I don't be wanting to take my trash out. And <clears throat> just accumulated some stuff. So I'm about to do that real quick before I uh, do my next round. All right, y'all, so far so good. I'm literally going like four miles per hour because it is windy out and these big old potholes that they do not want to fix in a complex be having to shake up a little bit, you know? So we're doing a four miles per hour and we get in there slowly but surely. I know, do y'all see them jiggling? Cause I'm a little scared. And we were successful, so great. I'm literally going right back around. Uh, Whip it, whip it, whip it, yeah! Peary poo. Y'all, I just realized that whole last clip was in slow motion, so I'm sorry, but I might still add it in because it's kind of funny. Now I just have one more luggage left and then my vanity mirror that I got for Christmas and then I'm good. Okay, so this is kind of what we got going on. Okay, y'all are literally chilling in my blinds right now, but okay. So I'm gonna do a little haul real quick of what I got from Ulta. First, I'll just go over like, you know, the usuals I had to restock up on. Um, anybody who knows me or has asked me about my lashes knows that I... These are the only ones I wear. I've uh, been wearing them for like well over a year now and they're literally like the only ones I wear. So I'll be wearing my lashes out until they're like literally, it's like socially unacceptable to even be wearing them no more. But I'll be wearing them for like some weeks. So, and I wear them every day. So, you know, I gotta stock up. Um, I literally had like three bottles of like half used uh, Morphe, what's it, continuous setting mist. And they all ran out now. So I just grabbed one full one. And then I also grabbed the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray because you know, I'm going to New York. So I need all my makeup to last all night, all day, you know. Now I do my brows, see, as you can tell, this is so messed up right now. I just got them waxed and I, did not care today. I be using like three different shades depending on like, you know, the style I'm going for with the brows that day or like if I'm doing natural or glam, just real quick, throw on and go. So yeah, I had to get the chocolate one and the dark brown one. And then I copped another beauty blender because one, mine is really dirty and I need to wash it anyways. But I like to have a dry beauty blender for when I'm like, you know, doing all the baking and stuff. I wanted to try some new things. So I got this little like trio set. It comes with like a setting spray that they have, but it's like a mini one. So I was like, oh, well, you know, I can just throw it in my purse. Um, they have a new primer, which I've always wanted to try like the, I think it's like the Tatcha primer. It's like, it like melts in your skin. So um, I wanted to try that and then I need more um, setting powder um, because I literally just ran out of my Mary Kay one, which I could just grab that from home in my inventory, but sometimes I like to shake it up and try different brands. I'm not gonna lie y'all, I'm not that good with cleaning my face, like, you know, cleansing all the time. I've been buying new skincare products and I feel like that's kind of helping me uh, want to wash my face more because you know like new products like you know buying all this stuff makes me really want to beat my face right now so i grabbed the perfect matcha melting cleansing balm it says three in one i don't know what that even means so like i've always wanted to try like the ones that like melt your makeup off and then you like do all the deep cleaning after so i kind of want to try this and see how it goes in order to get all my looks together and try on everything i need to look presentable so i can see exactly how these outfits and how these looks are going to look you know 
So I think I need to tone my hair and then hop in the shower, uh, wash all that out, all that good stuff, straighten it. I don't know if I'm pop my extensions in for all that because that's kind of doing the most. I might beat my face, you know, really fast, a little beep beep. And I'll probably see you guys when I'm blow drying my hair or when I'm straightening something like that. I don't know. But see you in like an hour and a half, two hours. I don't know. Bye. Okay, it's now like 4.05 and I've just finished doing my hair. So this is it after like the toning, blow drying, straightening, all that jazz. Um, Yeah. So now I think I'm going to do like a quick beat and then I'm going to try and lay out some outfits. I might have to bust out the um, ring light because it's going to get dark in here. But yeah, I have my closet cracked because otherwise y'all could see your reflection and we ain't doing all that. So um, yeah, I'm probably going to just time lapse this part because I really don't have much time to waste anymore. I'm looking busted. So get ready to see me look beat and so one thing that I do when I'm like breaking in my new lashes, I put on my old ones and then I put the new pair behind them. Um, so I like double up for that day and it kind of just breaks in the new ones to where they're not like all stiff and everything and then it's just like you know extra voluptuous for a day so yeah okay um now i'm going to Pick up some outfits and then I'll show you guys. So I'm gonna kind of just go over some of the um, items that I picked out and then I'm gonna try them on for you guys. So um, the first, like these areas is my little like airport outfits. So I have this, um, these like green joggers with this black um, crop tank top or I have this gray um, two piece sweatsuit with also the black uh, tank top. Then over here, I have the, well, what's it? Like this green balloon sleeved sweater uh, with either black or white jeans. And these are like pleather. Um, and then either this belt or maybe even like this belt. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and then I always wear like jeans and a sweater. So I'm trying to switch it up a little bit. And I actually bought these like patterned leggings so uh, i'm gonna try to wear these with either like this black sweater or this like creamy like off-white sweater so yeah now i'm trying to figure out how i should set you guys up because if i put you guys on my little tripod thing you can't exactly see the full fit so i think i might just have to um do it like this so you're gonna see like a crap ton of my room but it's okay um I wish the lighting was better, but it is so dark outside right now. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to show you like this, it's fine. Okay, so this is the first airport look. If I were to wear it out, I probably would wear um, this jacket or I may also like throw my little uh, pimp coat on top of it if it's too cold. I could maybe, maybe pair it with my um, Levi coat, but I don't really know if I'm feeling this one as much. So yeah, on to outfit two. Okay, so I'm kind of stupid. Um, I told my mom to get me a small in these because these are from New York and Company. Um, and she had told me to get an extra small because they're like, you know, grown woman size. And I was like, yeah, but joggers are meant to be, you know, like baggy. But no, these mugs is like... They're not baggy, they're big. So like I have a saggy crotch and everything. Okay, so this is the next look uh, with the balloon sleeves I was telling you guys about. I paired it with my um, 
like bedazzled rhinestone belt. And then I have my pleather jeans, which are, I won't even call them jeans, but like whatever, pleather pants. I literally never have any jewelry on and I clearly need something with this look, but I don't know if I have a silver, um, dang dang, silver necklace. So that might not be a thing. Sorry if there's like a glare because of this thing. I literally don't know what to do y'all, but that is a look. So this next look, I just kept the same green top on. Um, I switched the belt to the snake print. Then I put the white jeans on with this one. I actually really like both looks, so I don't know which one I'm gonna go with. Then the next look is just a plain black um, sweater, but it's kind of um, quarter sleeved. And then I have the plaid pants on with my boots again and i have gold jewelry so i was able to throw this one on wow i'll probably wear it with this jacket um if not maybe this one um if not then i might wear it with this one but i feel like this makes it look more casual than dressy so i don't know we might do the other one so yeah okay and then i switched the um sweater so it's still same fit. I might bring like my white um, Air Maxes because they're already dingy anyways. But I don't really know shoes to wear with this because I was gonna wear white booties, but I ended up not ordering them. So not sure, but yeah, here's this look. Okay, so I'm only gonna talk like this because I have no bottoms on. But um, I had thrown this jacket in the dryer probably too long and it is like, just not okay so um yeah i'm not sure if she'll be coming with me i might throw her back in the washer and just let her air dry and see what happens i've actually worn this outfit quite a few times but um i've never worn it with the coat before and it's never hit instagram either so um i'm also gonna throw this outfit on i didn't feel like untangling this again so i'm just gonna let that be um, but yeah, so this could be on like one of the days where it's more cold and, you know, just need something basic, but still look cute to take pictures in. And then, um, everybody knows me, everybody who does know me knows that I love my streetwear. So, um, I have this Biggie t-shirt on and then I paired it with my Levi, um, puffy coat, but I think I might wear the jean jacket instead. Yeah, so I'd probably pair it with this instead. Um, and just would wear this on like a day that's we're a lot more casual and like it's more warm outside. We're not doing too much um, or like a quick run to somewhere. Then, yeah, I probably would wear this fit. And then I'm wearing my favorite sweatshirt in this one. But I'm contemplating if I should wear this one or my winter solstice one by John Jupiter. So I don't know. I really don't know. Because that one was on my Instagram recently. But that one's actually like promoting someone where this is literally just like plain and nothing. So, I think I might do this one because it hasn't been worn like a million times. So, it still has like that crisp look instead of like super lived in and like kind of dingy looking. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do this one instead. Okay, guys. So, that right there was about like seven or something outfit seven eight maybe six i don't know but um i'm gonna be there for like i think five days so um that's pretty good for like my base oh my gosh my freaking hair for like the base of all the clothes i'm gonna be wearing and then i'll kind of just like add pieces throughout the day or like take some off or um just have like random casual pieces and stuff throughout the day so yeah um i might just throw in a couple extra um pieces just in case you know I need to improvise for the day but all of that will probably be in my next video um but you guys just let me know if you want me to do like a regular vlog or if you want me to do just like a montage lookbook of all of the pieces that I ended up wearing uh, I'm gonna try to edit this and get this up before I leave so that way you know we can be somewhat in sync on time because your girls stay uploading late and I'm sorry 
but yeah so i think that's all for this video thank y'all for watching if you see me later then you see me later if you don't please like this video and subscribe and click that notification bell so you'll know when to be on the lookout for my new york vlog or lookbook thanks for watching guys peace